Hello, my name is Anne-Marie and I'm part of the CrashBang computing team. I'd like to talk today a little bit about using uh, web tools in the classroom. So we, as computing teachers, uh, more than any other teachers, should be integrating and using uh, web tools um, in our classrooms for our students to organise their learning in personal spaces and to have classroom resources available to them um, that they can access in the classroom or outside of the classroom. Um, and so I'd like to show you a few examples of the ones we have used this year. Um, so the first one we've used is Easy Class. Easy Class is a free online um, learning management system. So it's like a social media uh, website for all the world. So this is what my Easy Class classroom looks like. Um, first of all, to set it up, uh, students sign up to Easy Class with their school email address. And then I give them this access code, which means they join my classroom specifically desi designed for their group. So in this case, I had a year eight Python group called 8H. So when they come in, they come into my 8H Python classroom and this is what they see. They're automatically brought to the class wall and as you can see, I post different comments on the class wall um, to signpost different resources they might need for that lesson. So for example, here I put some example code up. So I've put a link to this document. Students might have used this um, as they were writing their own programs. They might refer to the, the code on here. I can also put all resources into the class library. So every time I upload a document, I would put it in here so they know they can always go back to this class library to reference something that we've used in lessons before. So it's a really good way if somebody's missed a lesson or if somebody's forgotten what we did three lessons ago, you can point them at the class library and voila, they have it. Or if they're doing their homework, they can log on. This is all browser based so they can access it anywhere. So here's another example. Um, I put a video in the class library uh, quite early on in these lessons because um, students kept forgetting um, to create a new file for each new program in Python. They would often just type simple commands into the shell and couldn't, were frustrated, couldn't understand why it didn't work. So I put this video together for them. So this is just another example of a resource you can leave. Um, so this video was to remind them over and over. It sounds simple, but they kept forgetting. So if they forgot, they could just go here and see again how to open Python, open a new file, do file save as, because again, they forget, file save as, and then to show them where to type their code and how to run it. So although a very, very simple video, this they found it's so easy to access and so helpful a reminder in what to do. Um, they could stop it at their own leisure. If I was going too fast or if they couldn't keep up, they could just pause me uh, and then press play again. Or they could watch it again that evening at home or maybe not this one because it's not so exciting. They could show um, their families what they'd done in lesson. So, um, all very handy. So I'll switch that off. But again, that was a really, really handy resource. So back in the class library, there's all sorts of other examples and starter activities that we did. Um, so you can put any type of document in there that you want. Other useful things are discussion threads. So quite often at the end of a lesson, I would ask something like, how did you find writing your program today? And they would put their answers up there in the plenary, just in, takes a couple of minutes. And after that lesson, I could sit and reflect on how each individual in the classroom felt or what they might like explained next lesson. Or sometimes I just set them homework um, to ask them something interesting and get them thinking about something. 
and they can all post on here and see each other's comments and students really really enjoy that so we see this student said this and I would give her a reply and they really really enjoy and embrace that as well it gets them much more interactive even you'll see this the quieter students really really are happy to post a comment on here because it doesn't mean standing up in the middle of class. I could also set them assignments so I could set them a homework task on here um, either they could upload their documents if they were comfortable or they could just do it on paper if they wanted to. I could set quizzes so on Python commands or just checking again what they've learnt or either towards the end of the unit or throughout to see how you're going and you can see the results as you go and you can download that to a spreadsheet for your mark books as well. Um, you can also just generally keep an eye on students um, and to see what homework they've completed uh, and how much they've got involved in classes. So a great way to share ideas amongst the students and with yourself um, to test their knowledge and most invaluably I found to put the resources up there that they can use and access over and over again. It's basically a complete record of what you've done in lesson if you use it that way. So brilliant for revision purposes as well if you've got exam classes. Thank you.